Well, hello everyone, it's Huey back for another episode of Battletech in our campaign playthrough with using the uh, Flashpoint and Urban Warfare DLCs. And let's get back into it. So in the last episode, very exciting, we got ourselves our first heavy mech, a Black Knight. So let's go ahead and delete all these extra saves and get back into it. So I think we can move straight on, relatively straight on, to um, the next campaign mission. Which I believe is Weldry? Yeah, Weldry. <clears throat> so, it should be... I have done it plenty of times with just medium mechs, but uh, having that Black Knight, oh my god, it's going to be... I, I think it's going to be really, really... Uh, not easy, but uh, a lot easier. So, uh, but we will have some work to do on our Black Knight, and we'll have some repairs to do as well. So, first things first, let's look at our Mech Warriors. And should have enough? Yes! Perfect timing. And also perfect timing... Do I want this? No. I want this. I want extra health. Yes. Confirm. Training confirmed, Commander. Excellent. Right, so. I hear ya. We can now give glitch breaching shot, <clears throat> which is really going to help us with us being able to hit. Training complete. We can give Good Deco, uh, the master tactician. Mech warrior training complete. Oh, that's that is so cool. And, yeah, we can finally give uh, Behemoth um, some extra guts. Now, unfortunately I didn't get the coolant vent, because I stuffed up and went down gunnery, but that should be okay. Training confirmed, Commander. Okay. Alright, so we're good there. So now we need to do some repairs. So we can just straight up repair this. Repair and I'll have to refit <clears throat> this one, so it's unfortunate. But uh, let's replace this, put in another laser. It's going to take seven days for that. Uh, I think these weapons are good, firepower is not the best, but I think it'll be sufficient. All right, oh, okay, I might save that for the Black Knight actually. But, we'll put that in. So we've got a plus five damage laser. Which is a nice start. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. And I'm going to put away the old blackjack. I think it's time to retire the blackjack. It's got a lot of firepower, but you know what? Don't need it anymore. Oh. Didn't mean to hit refit, but okay. <laughs> so... Let's, yeah, let's put it away. And so then... I think we'll give Decker the Centurion. Glitch can stay in the Griffin. And the Black Knight <clears throat> can get a refit. Okay. I don't think we need a PPC. I really don't. We don't have any missile hard points, unfortunately. But that's okay. Because what we can do is we get rid of this. Okay, that gives us a huge hit to our, um, our firepower. However, do we have any heavy jump jets? That's the question. I don't think we do, actually. Oh, we have one. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see here. We have room for three small support weapons. So, <clears throat> let's put in two small lasers. The, the two plus pluses. Yeah. 
So it's going to be a pinpoint, um, yeah, pinpoint machine. So I think that'll be fine for now. Oh, and we were going to put in the medium laser, weren't we? The plus five damage. You know what? I think I'm going to put this in... Or these... I'm going to put two of these in here. Put these in here so they're a little bit more protected. I really want some jump jets for this thing, even if it's only two. Um, put that there. It's going to take some time, but that's okay. Now, I do believe this was an abandoned planet. Yes, it was, so we've got no equipment. <clears throat> so we'll confirm that for now. That's fine. Logged and no. Shouldn't be too hard. And so then we go to contracts and we'll make our way to uh, Weldry. So we'll travel there. Actually, let's look at the star map because I might be able to pick something up on the way. Yes. Now, is this populated? Lyaton. I've been there. Alright, so we'll, we'll travel there. No, we're not going to take that, Commander. the contract. Fine. We're just going to travel straight there. Hopefully buy some heavy jump jets. And, um... Yeah, continue working on the Black Knight. I think I'm quite happy with it just being a pinpoint, a pinpoint um, attack machine. Especially with having the two small lasers. Well, actually, I think it's three small lasers. Yeah, but hey, that works for me. I don't really need a PPC. I mean, PPCs are nice, you know, because they've got, you know, some good stability damage, but my Centurion can really dish that out as, as it is, so. Very good. We've arrived at our destination, Commander. So we'll visit the store. And let's see what equipment we can buy. We do have heavy jump jets. Nice. So we'll buy two of these. New equipment available. And that's all we need. Yes, that's all we need. Don't need an arm mod. That's three tons. Plus 40 melee damage though is really nice. But I don't think we need it, as I said. So we can keep going to our destination. So yeah, we'll do the priority. So we'll select priority mission so we don't have to pay for this leg of the journey. <clears throat> and hopefully this will work out well for us. Oh, come on. I don't need you to load up every contract, I just want the campaign mission. <clears throat> oh, Darius, please let Reddy Arano know we are on our way now. Yes, Commander. Okay, so this is going to take 19 days. Calculating course now, Commander. So we'll take some time to put on those jump jets, unfortunately. <clears throat> but I really do think I need them. I, I'm a real big fan of jump jets, as you, in case you couldn't tell. Virtually all my mechs have jump jets. Even, even when I get assault mechs, they have jump jets. So... <laughs> and I find... Look, 
<clears throat> if you have jump jets, you don't really need a lot of back arm. So, kind of works out. And the bonus is, if you make a jump, instead of a sprint, you can jump, get the same, roughly the same amount of evasion, and be guarded. You can guard at the end of the turn. At the end of your turn, so... That work order you submitted is complete. It generally all works out. Alright, so... Uh, it works out better, actually, usually. So, we'll go to the bays. That is a beautiful machine. Alright. <clears throat> Firepower is lovely. So we've got three small lasers. Which is... Really handy, actually. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six lasers. So let's put in our equipment. So we've got four, uh, sorts of four jump jets. I only need three, I think. Possibly another heat sink. We'll see. We'll see. So let's turn these right up to maximum. Absolute maximum. I want to make this an absolute beast of a machine. Alright, not enough for another heat sink. Hmm, okay. Let's turn that down. Do we need... Mm, maybe not. Heat efficiency has gone down, but that's only because of the jump jets. Maybe I don't need this many. I probably don't need this many. Maybe I do actually. Um, let's think about this. Oh! take that off. Oh, yeah, I don't need this. Okay, that works. Hmm. 35. I think 135 in the legs works. Gives us some more durability. Still got a, a boat, a buttload of firepower. Got some long-range uh, weapons, and that looks to me like yeah, that that's our build. Five days, done. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. Okay, so let's keep going. So we won't start the contract straight away because I always want to A, look in the store and B, we need to finish off the Black Knight build so um, let's uh, have a look in the store. Oh look at that, 50% crit could be nice. Plus 50% crit, yeah I think I'm going to go for that. It's 105 grand. So let's take it. New weapon systems available. So we have more work to do. Okay, so let's just let this finish off. We'll Ready go through another financials whenever you are. Financial period, that's fine. Oh, and yeah, we can sell a um We can sell the blackjack. I forgot about that. So we'll sell you. Sorry, Blackjack. You served me well, but your time is now past. So, nice some money back. Job's done, Commander. Okay, let's go back to the mech bay and refit. 
And of course we're going to put that in the arm since the arms are more accurate. And we'll put you there. Four days. A little bit, little bit of waste of time, but <clears throat> it's only campaign mode, so it's all good. There we go. Wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. We are ready to go. First strike in orbit, Weldry. Weldry, one of the most notorious hellholes in the Oregon Reach. Everything about this place is hostile to human life, and for the past three years. Espinosa has used it as a dumping ground for his political enemies. The Directorate has a prison complex on the planet's surface. His, the inmates call it the Icebox. The image of the imposing structure appears on your view screen. It has the solid heavy walls that you've come to associate with Torian architecture. It's a holding facility for political prisoners, including high value hostages members of the founding families, spouses, sons, and daughters. If we liberate the prison and set them free, we break Espinosa's leverage over the founding houses. The political map will change overnight. We don't know what the Directorate has been doing to our people in there, but we have to set them free. Not just for political gain, but because they are our people, and we need your help to do it. Ready, Arano, I need to know what I'm about to send my rants into. What makes Weldry so inhospitable? Everything, from the sub-zero climate to the inedible vegetation, the whole planet is infected with blood-sucking insects. The swarms can stretch for miles. You're shitting me. I'm afraid not. They're called Branson's Mosquitoes. Imagine a colonial biting fly the size of your thumb. They serve as carriers for harmful bacteria. And they're dropping the infantry in there on purpose. The army will be safe. Population centers like the icebox use ultrasonics to keep the swarms at bay. But I thank you for your concern, Mr. Vatanen. Aren't you founding roads in the red is supposed to be power's figureheads? There are different kinds of powers, uh, Wraith. The founding houses may be anemic in terms of martial strength, but their words still carry weight in the Oregon Reach. If they rally behind us, the people who love them will follow. Governments have been toppled with less. My uncle has hardline supporters everywhere, their ranks have swelled in the absence of strong opposition, but the remaining members of the Founding Council will rally their people against the Directorate if we give them the chance. By freeing Weldry, we will give them that chance. But, uh, pardon me, but you have an army. What do we will need us for? Subtle, decisive action. I will lead the army in an all-out assault on the Directors, Directorate's primary spaceport. After I've drawn their attention, you will sneak in, attack the icebox, and liberate it. We'll set my uncle's hostages free and put the founding families in our debt, all in one fell swoop. Hmm, reminds me of a surprise raid I went on in the Inner Sphere. That was a good plan too, right up till we made contact with the enemy. I do understand what you're saying, Wraith. And the chaos of the battlefield is one of the major reasons why I need you on this drop. You and Mastiff improvised on Coral, my dear. And you got me through the coup alive. I'll be counting on you to use that same adaptability on Weldry, should the need arise. I'll remain in radio contact with you after we hit the ground. Good hunting, Wraith. Give my uncle, uncle's troops hell, the hell that they've earned. After the Directorate's presence on the planet has been crushed and the icebox has been liberated, we'll regroup to celebrate our victory. Alright. Black Knight time. Okay, so Centurion back here. 
we will keep um, Behemoth in the Shadow Hawk. And so now, um, the Satyrian's Initiative 4, which is going to be awesome. And the Heavy Mac that I'm in is Initiative 3, same as these guys. So I think that's going to be really handy. And we've got 1160 armor on the Black Knight, so... Yeah, she's going to be a bit of a tank. Cut. Here we go. Come on. Load up, damn you. Alright. Hard to believe we're going to war against the Directorate. I don't know about you, but from my perspective, it's long overdue. Make them pay for what they took from us. Make it hurt. Alright, so this is it. Our first strike against my uncle. Oh, okay. This is it. Uh, my first, the first strike against my uncle's directorate. Our first step towards justice. While I lead the Restoration's, uh, Restoration Army against Wildry's primary spaceport, you will launch a sneak attack against the icebox and, uh, ice and liberate it. I know you can do this, Wraith. We can do this together. Ooh. You asking me out on a date? <laughs> You'll notice I didn't say that in Ricky's voice because, um, hmm, something tells me, um, Kamea wouldn't appreciate that very much. <laughs> so let's get into the uh, mission. Command interface initiated. Testing our new toy. There are two entrances into the complex, Commander. Intel says that each is defended by a series of elevated turrets. I'm also seeing an LRM encampment between the two checkpoints. Battle mech defenses should be practically nil, as predicted. Lady Arano's preemptive strike has already drawn the present standard garrison away. I'm seeing heavy vehicles and turrets on my screen. There's nothing you can't handle. Clear away the opposition and capture the prison. Lady Arano and the Restoration Army will take care of the rest. Good hunting, Commander. Okay, here we go. The Black Knight. So we're gonna head straight up. This is where the jump jets come in handy. We're gonna head straight up over this section here and take out this turret generator. So that's our first point of uh, port of call. Acknowledged. You can go there. And you can go there. Copy that. That is one cool looking mech. Time to jump! Engaging jump jets. Hmm. Do we need. Maybe not, actually. Might send you guys. Good to go. Send you guys around here. Roger that. Go. Reporting. Enemy contact. Yeah, that's that's all good. Glitch. On my way. Don't worry your cute little head about it. We'll take care of it. Oh. Do not worry, your pretty little head, Gritch. We will take care of it. Alright, so... Waiting for orders. What can Decker do? Nothing. So, we're gonna reserve. Let them move in. Let's see. B, B, B. Engaging multiple targets. Really? Okay, I somehow missed two of those, but alright. Receiving 
receiving you. Behemoth to help. Let's go just BB, there we go. Multiple targets confirmed. My goodness, it takes care of those. Eliminated. Good job, Behemoth. Waiting on you, Commander. Okay, you're up. Ready for orders. Maybe I should get Decker in there. Oh, maybe not. What can I do for you? Hmm, this could work no out. <clears throat> this is the warden. We have an intruder alert. All combat units, prepare to repel hostile. Okay. All weapons are go. Good job, glitch. You like that? Standing by. Hmm. You need to sprint. I copy. Okay, who's next? Vehicle at the back. Striker. They've got a sensor lock on me. Ow. Good to go. Yeah, take up that tower, I think. Actually, yeah, take the tower out. Jumping. <clears throat> Those prison gates on either side are going to be your best point of entry into the complex. Blow them down and make your way inside. Or jump the walls if your lance is capable of it. Your call. Probably blow down the doors, get create some rubble. Okay. Nice work. That turret is gone. <laughs> Where's he going? What the hell? Okay. Um. I hear ya. Guess jump in there. Ready, yeah, okay. Set. So I can at least get vision on that thing. So we've got a scorpion and we've got a striker. What's the scorpion got? AC5. Time to die. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> Alright, Behemoth, you're up. Let's jump our way down. Firing jump jet. So, AC5 only. Damn. I don't know what it, okay, I think you've already moved, so let's take a shot at this. Target confirmed. Nice. Well, 
large laser doesn't reach that far. God damn it. Okay. Alright, we can at least take out one of these tanks. That's one down. Enemy unit destroyed. Oh, it's steppy steppy time. You've got a lock on me. Ow. Yes, Commander. Location confirmed. Well, there goes another tank. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Mm, no. Down this way. Engaging jump jets. Let's get rid of this thing. How are you so bad at this? Oh, oh that's what I get for not. Ready for orders. Increasing gunnery, I guess. Lifting off. Acknowledged. Finally. Turret destroyed. Waiting for orders. Hmm. No, I think he. Oh, okay. Huh. No, I think he just jumped. Need to get your stability back. Commander. I think we'll reserve. Don't need to tell me twice. Alright, so how much damage do we need to do to each? A hundred. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know if we'll have enough for both. Let's give it a go. Line them up and I'll shoot them down, Commander. What's up, Bach? Hmm. I'd rather shoot these tanks. Yep. Affirmative. Vehicle destroyed. Ok. 
Okay, let's do this. <clears throat> so, go one, two, three. Tank What's there. up, boss? Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna sprint. <clears throat> Going full throttle. No. Oh. That was, uh, quite funny. So. Holding for tactical advantage. Waiting on you, Commander. Got it. Oh, you're kidding. Hmm. That'll work. Engaging jump jets. Do I really need the large lasers? Probably not. One will do. Engaging target. Yay. Okay. On my way. Right, wait for Behemoth to catch up. Who's this enemy, enemy contact? What? Where? Oh, the gates. Right. Okay then. Well, orders. Let's get Decker in there. Heading out. Locked on target. Flatten that one. Send them in, send in the cavalry, and brace. Commander. Guess you go that way. Double time, let's go. Uh, let's go indeed. Excellent work, Commander. Prisoners out. All directorate personnel to action stations. God damn it! This is not a drill. So you got more company. Seeing heat signatures coming online in the prison mech bay. The warden must have had a lance in reserve. Sit tight, Commander. Lady Arano is aware of the situation. Reinforcements are on the way. Okay, this is not how I planned it to, to work, but okay. Here we go. On the move. Affirmative. Move 
moving around. So I think we'll move to this section here. Thirty-five time. For the Oregon people! God damn it. Tank there, Decker, you should be okay. Yeah, let's do it. So we got, got a Jenna here, I think. Can't hit. The let's hit the trebuchet. Locking on target. That's a hit. Yes, move closer. Reporting major armor loss. Didn't look that bad to me. Aw oh, man. Of course glitch is out of position. <sighs> okay. Got it. Breaching shot. Oh yeah. Let's do it. Black Knight, you cannot hurt me. Standing by. Hmm. Do I go for the trebuchet? No, I think I go for the Jagermeck. But I'll do it like this. <clears throat> Totally. So we need to take care of him. We need to declaw you right now. <coughs> Target's taking a critical hit. Says Decker. <laughs> Engaging jump 
Oh, that was a good hit. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Here comes Kamea. Getting into the water and nothing. God damn it, Kamea. Way, as much as possible. Locking in all weapons. Inflicted some heavy damage. Unsteady, very nice. Oh, I am the Black Knight. Rest call your draw. Waiting for orders. Okay, so in comes Glitch. Can only hit with the LRM 10. But it could. Hmm. Okay, this could work. a multi-target. Got it! I yes! Her, damn you. Yes! We can't let this prison fall! Here comes the Jenna. It looks like he, I'm a little baby mech having a bath. <laughs> yes, Commander. Well, let's get rid of this annoying little twat. On my way. Firing. I think I hit something good. You're gonna regret that. You are totally gonna regret that. I hear ya. Okay, so multi target time. I think. We need to take care of you. Yep. So you can have all the lasers. You get a headshot and you get a headshot. There you guys is right like Nice. Like I said, you're going to regret that. I'm just going to stand here. I 
I'll just take a shot. Screw it. Oh, headshot. Nice. Waiting for orders. Move order received. Okay, let's do this. You can have the SRM six. Acknowledged. <laughs> Commander. Oh, okay. So you need to move here. All right. Light him up. Engaging with target. Enemy down. I don't think there was anything left of him. <laughs> oh, nice back shot. Well done, Kamea. Good to go. So you can go stomp on him. Okay, let's do that. Cause it's fun. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Stomp on you in the bath. Ugh. Standing by. Acknowledged. Got him. Prison is ours. Thanks for the assist, Lady Arano. I'll have Samiri bring us, bring us down for the victory celebration. There will be no celebrating. Not after what I saw out there. God, Darius, the things the Directorate has done to these people. Come here. I need you to meet me in the prison hospital. Right now. What is it? Better that you see for yourself. And Khmer, prepare yourself. This isn't going to be easy. Mission successful. Right. Black Knight did really well just soaking up a lot of damage, actually. Really well. So just on that front, yeah, that was that was awesome. Okay, so let's uh, go to the next cinematic. One point seven million, thank you very much. And that's twelve hundred extra XP that we uh acquired. Now I could go for mech parts, but I really want to get some nice weapons, which there aren't any, so let's just Oh yeah. Let's grab a trebuchet. Cause why not? And I guess I'll grab a Jaeger mech part. Would have been nice to get another heavy mech, but whatever. Fine. Oh, and we got the Centurion part. Anyway, so that's really handy. So, I do think that we should be able to pretty much cruise through the rest of the... Not cruise through, but get through the rest of the campaign missions relatively quickly because we took the time uh, to do some contracts in the beginning and personally I think it was well worth it by the time our forces found him it was too late I'm sorry Kamea he was here 
all this time. Rashu. So he wasn't dead, but now he's dead. So there's a bit of a twist for you, I guess. <laughs> <clears throat> the Rene Restoration, the Icebox, Weldry. Come here, I'm so sorry. I know how much Mastiff meant to you. He was a friend and a mentor to us both. He was more than that. The old man was like a second father to me, and my uncle condemned him to waste away on this rock <laughs> to die and, and broken in, in agony <laughs> okay. um. <clears throat> yes it is a tragedy a hero's story should not end like this nobody should and yet so many had there's no coming back from what I've witnessed that today the scale of the director its cruelty is unimaginable. What they've done here is monstrous. It's it, it's inhuman. Oh, how Intel was wrong, Alexander. The icebox isn't a prison. It's a meat grinder. Gods, my own family is behind this. And what's left of mine is chosen to look the other way. It isn't an easy thing to wrap your head around, but try to remain focused. We've just liberated the Directorate's hostages. With a single blow, you've shattered your uncle's hold on the founding houses. The prisoners you've set free are already calling you the Sword of Restoration. We need to spread this message all the way to Coromedia to galvanize your supporters and weaken Espinosa's popularity there. Hmm, galvanize your supporters. I like the sound of that. It won't be an easy process. For the last three years, those who love House Serrano have been keeping their heads down. But we won't break them of that overnight. In truth, an appreciable percentage of Coromadea's population supports Director Espinosa. In centralizing power, he improved the quality of life on the throne world considerably, and people will forgive a great deal for security and comfort. With our victory on Weldry, We've all seen what happened to those who would not be bored or indoctrinated. Those who refused to kneel before a tyrant. We know what became of the people who were made to disappear, and soon enough the entire Reach will know it too. The momentum is on our side, Camille. We need to take advantage of it. Yes, I suppose you're right. This isn't the time for hand wringing. But Alexander, you didn't see what I saw out there. The other end of the battlefield, the work crews, all hunched and broken. The graveyards, great fields of unmarked burial plots that stretched as far as the eye could see. Every time I blink, I see it. The misery that was allowed to fester here. <clears throat> I can picture it well enough. I saw my share of gulags and during my tour of the inner sphere. I'm sure you did, Wraith. The Directorate doesn't have a monopoly on cruelty. But before my uncle's coup, the Oregon Reach was better than this. This place is going to stay with these people for the rest of their lives. Anything. I'd do anything to be able to spare of that, uh, them of that hurt. But I can't. <laughs> <clears throat> Word of advice from an old veteran, Lady Arano. Focus on something you can do. Give us an order. Tell us to blow something up. Shit, use your imagination. Key is, you do something and you move on. Thank you, Chief Vatanen. You have a good crew, Wraith. I have a new assignment for you, and a reward for your service. Iago appears on your view screen. She's in rough shape. She appears to be spaceworthy. 
For decades, the wreck site of the Argo was one of my father's most closely held secrets. When I sent you to retrieve her, I meant for her to serve as a symbolic purpose, a sign of rebirth and renewal, emblazoned with the Arano, Cormorant, for all to see. I was naive. This is time for action, not symbols. And so, Wraith, I have decided that she will be yours to command. The Argo will serve as your new home, and she will fly your mercenary banner. Lord Madeira will join you and act as my liaison, and in return you will grow stronger, sharper, more flexible. You will hone your company to a razor's edge, one that I will hold to the Directorate's throat. Where in that case, Ready Arano? Congratulations, you have yourself our navy. It, if that's settled, then please come here. Go back to the triage tent and get your wounds looked at. The conditions here are beyond unsanitary, and you'll be of no use to anyone if you're dying of some exotic infection. Our people can tend to the wounded. We need you strong for the fight ahead. I will, Alexander, but not just yet. Assemble our people in the courtyard. There is something I need to say. Alright, another cinematic. People of the Oregon Reach, I am Kamea Arano. And I have failed you. For three long years, Director Espinosa has imprisoned and starved and murdered our people. And where was I? Hiding in a palace, light years away, building support, planning. While the Directorate's secret police turned neighbor against neighbor, made your loved ones disappear, conscripted your children. I wasn't here. I didn't know. The crimes that I have witnessed here today are unforgivable. No doubt, Director Espinosa believes that the ends justify the means, that the Oregon Reach has been made strong. Well, I say that strength built on fear is brittle. The Directorate is a paper tiger, and I declare this restoration today to rally the true strength of our people, our resilience, and our freedom. Let Weldry be a call to arms. Join us, and together we will liberate the Founding Houses and retake Cormadir. Not because it is my birthright, but because the Directorate's crimes against you, the Oregon people, will no longer be tolerated. That is what I fight for, and I vow to fight for your freedoms to my dying breath. <clears throat> well, good on you. <laughs> so, that was a rather long mission. Um, accompanied by quite a few uh, cinematics. Hello again, my mercenary friends. Before you officially take possession of the Argo, I just wanted to introduce myself in person. We never, never, never really got the chance to meet properly on uh, Exilus. So, uh, hi, I'm Dr. Farah Marud, Mar Murad. Sorry, or just Farah, if you prefer. It is nice to meet you all in the face, uh, face to face. Yeah, Doc, you too. I'm gonna call you Doc, by the way. You should probably go ahead and get used to it. Uh, it was impressive work you did getting the Argo flying. Between you and me, I had my doubts. Honestly, I did too. You should. You should have seen the Argo's interior before the... Uh, uh, the Argo's interior looked like after a couple of hundred years of pirate occupation. Actually, I take that back. If you had seen what I saw, you would have never wanted to set foot inside. Take it from me, the ship has been degloused from bow to stern, and every meter of has been hosed down with industrial grade disinfectant. This ship has been, is clean enough to eat off. I swear it. Respect for you, Dr. Murad. I could not care less how clean, clean the ship is. I lost a friend today. Yes, Commander. I am sorry. 
both for the flippancy of my tone and for what happened to your friend. I am just I guess I'm just very excited. It isn't every day that you get to introduce your new chromates to the ship you have just rebuilt. New chromates? Do you know something we don't? Did Lady Arano not say? I am coming with you. You'll need me in if anything goes wrong with the ship. Not that it will, mind you. But you know, just in case. Oh, and Darius. I'm sorry about the shouting back on Exilus. As it turns out, Getting shot at by pirates puts me on edge. No hard feelings? Not at all. Keep this beast flying, you can yell at me as much as you want. <clears throat> Hell, I'm used to it. And welcome to the family. You too, Lord Madeira. Never imagined we would be working together, but I'm glad to have the opportunity. As am I, Mr. Oliveira. Over the years of our exile, Lady Arano has told me a great deal about you and your company. All of it good, of course. Even before the events of the coup, she knew about Markham's marauders, your assistance in her father's Jaldo campaign that, that it did not go unnoticed. <clears throat> it was a job, Lord Madeira. We only did what Lord High Lord uh, Tamati paid us to do. Still, feels good to be appreciated, and to know that someone out there still remembers Commander Markham's name. Ah, oh, you are a welcome addition to the Argo. Lord Madeira. Thank you, Commander Wong. Speaking of which, you'll need some time to break in your new ship before uh, ship in before Lady Arano is ready to move on Panzer. She needs to consolidate her forces on Wildry and replace her losses with fresh volunteers. You remember her orders. You are to sharpen your company and grow strong. Now, and now that you have a mobile command center worthy of a title, I suggest you use it. I'll get you a fresh batch of contracts to look over, Ricky. The whole remote periphery is our oyster now. We won't be limited, limited by debts or travel restrictions. Exciting times, I gotta say. Eh, sighting doesn't begin to describe it. This is like returning from exile all over again. I'm right there with you, boss. It's gonna feel damn good to spread our wings. Speaking of which, shouldn't we go ahead... Shouldn't we go aboard a new ship? There's an absolutely enormous mech bay in there. It's got my name written all over it. Damn right it does, Yang. You all heard him. Take your stations, everyone. We're free agents until Lady Arano calls us, and there's money to be made. The Argo is not in good shape, Commander. But with time, money, and some of Chief Attendant's special resources, we can address most of the major problems. Maybe even make this place nice again. I'll be in engineering if you want to know more. Lady Arana, um, <clears throat> Lady Arana said, said you wanted us to get stronger. With these mech facilities, we finally have the resources to do that. Bring me the scrap mechs from missions and shops, and I'll be building them into fighting machines. And remember, boss, when it comes to mechs, bigger is usually better. Okay. So. Now we got all through that. That mech you asked for is cleared for fighting. What mech? You gonna show me the mech? Oh, the trebuchet, of course. Nice. <clears throat> so we got a trench bucket. Don't think I'm gonna use it though. Quite happy with what I've got for the moment. Um, you done loading yet? God, I hate Unity. Okay, great. Finally. Oh, wow. Look at that ship. <laughs> She's a little bit beat up. So, we've got some work to do. And we've got some experience uh, to add to our Macquarie's, which we'll do before we go for, for today. And I think it's time to um, upgrade my piloting. So then I can start working on a little bit of gunnery and then hopefully before long get cold shot mastery, which is gonna Training be fantastic. So let's go. um let's hold on to that. Commander. Wait a sec, wait Waiting a sec. For orders. 
Wait a sec. No, you don't need that. But I think you will need this. Definitely. Training complete. Yes, Commander. You will need this. Mech Warrior training complete. And you Commander. can't do shit. Because <laughs> I need this. Although. Nah, don't need that yet. Okay, that's fine. Alright, uh, so now the mech base. For the time being, I'm just going to be selling mechs. And then I'll start collecting them again later. Trench bucket I really don't want anyway, so let's get rid of it. And let's go to the store. Sell the shit out of that thing. Do we want a quick draw? Honestly, I don't. I don't know. How many of these have we got? I think we got one. <sighs> Let me think about this. So you've got two, two of these, four of those. I don't think I want to spend the money, honestly. I mean, 1.2 million? Nah, I don't want to spend the money. So, let's go to selling. Sell. And that should be it. Let's have a quick look at the contracts before we go. So, we've got quite a few here. Um, all. Arano restoration missions, or one and a half and two skull, which um, I think is enough to keep us busy for quite some time. So yeah, so we'll have quite a bit to do in the next episode. So I hope you can join me for that, folks, and I hope you enjoyed that uh, campaign mission episode. But until, as usual, until next time, folks, take it easy and bye for now.